friends, this is the Baytective. We are back on the second part of understanding what LED or life after death means in competitive Beyblading. If you haven't seen the first video which talks about its definition and some recommended drivers for LED oriented builds, I left the link in the description down below. As a quick review, life after death is the ability of the bay to continue spinning after it has fallen over and loses momentum. In a prolonged battle, the final bit of wobble of a bay often is the deciding factor of the match. Life after death concept is often abused by stamina type builds, especially stamina type builds in opposite spin matchups. In this video, we'll focus on the forge disc and frame combinations that can boost the LED of a bay unit. The pairing's uh, LED effectiveness is largely based on the shape they create and consequently on their weight distribution. As per my research, here are the top four discs used on LED oriented builds. We have outer, zero, double zero, and wheel. Outer is a great forge disc if LED is desired. Its effectiveness takes a credence on its circular shape and weight distribution. Zero has been top tier since its release. It is desired because of its circular shape and is one of the heavier discs out there. Double zero is heavier than zero and has great weight distribution. And it fits well with the cross frame. The latter two are preferable as they can be fitted with frames for greater effectiveness. The new wheel disc is the heaviest disc to date and is an upgraded outer disc. It has the shape and the weight and the weight on the right parts, making it a go-to disc instead of outer. As for the frames, a circular, well-balanced frame is desirable. Proof and cross are staple for any bay combo wishing to increase their LED. Wall fits the mold of a good frame, but often frowned upon because it scrapes a lot once it tilts uh, over one side. But with the introduction of high drivers, it finds its niche as a viable LED frame. Zero proof is a solid build as well as double zero cross. It is good to note that the added weight of the points on the cross frame can tilt the whole bay a tad more bit while the roundness of the proof frame can wobble itself to victory. The expand frame is also a great LED oriented frame. There you have it folks. I hope these recommendations can help you bag a few more wins. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. What other disc frame pairings can you think of that have great LED potential? Alright, I'll see you next time.